what is up youtube back at you with another video now as the title of the video says my bike got literally caught on fire this was actually um october the 30th i believe it was around uh, 1 to 2 pm in the afternoon we're heading we're heading to mandalo this is actually got us in I was lucky enough that I was riding with someone else that's fit rider that's on the other bike and I want to give a big shout out to him because honestly if it wasn't for him on that day I wouldn't be able to know that there was actually a fire underneath the bike so big shout out to him I'll post his channel link on screen and also in the comment section so you can go over there and check out his channel now as you can see the piece that we left out on I wouldn't have known that there was actually a fire underneath the bike until it was probably too late so even after we got the fire extinguished we had to stop like three times because of the issue with the bike why the fire even started in the first place as I said I will get to the reason further down in the video but this day was just one bad day because I even end up left my fanny pack on the roadside where the fire was and didn't notice that I left it until we actually reached in Mandalore. And while we were heading to Mandalore, the rain actually came down, got wet going on. When we reached in Mandalore, the found out that I left my back, I had to turn back down, go back down, rain fall again. It was just one crazy, crazy day. So here I was just basically riding like normal, focused on the road in cornering mode. Didn't even know that there was a fire starting up underneath the bike. jump off and just start to gravel underneath the bike and here didn't really even have any loose gravel like that this is probably one of the worst places to stop because trucks always take this corner very very wide this is the bug that I'm telling you about that I left on the roadside. I not even remember when I took it off and show it down over there. So. But as I was saying, this is probably one of the worst places to stop because this is where the trucks always take the corner wide going down Spur Tree. And there was actually a truck coming down the hill. I think you will see that part of the video in a few minutes. So this happened on Sunday, on Saturday I did an oil change on the bike and when I was draining the oil some of the oil spilled onto the exhaust wrap that is on the bike because I wrapped the entire exhaust and some of the oil spilled onto the muffler and soaked into the exhaust wrap.
Poland was leaking out of one of the hoses that is under the bike as well. So it's either the coolant or the the oil that caused the fire. I'm not entirely sure. You know how it happened and I've actually taken off the exhaust from off the bike because honestly I don't know something. So. 